In this video, we'll take a look at using some power series for elementary functions and using those to rewrite other power series that are similar. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward and easy. If you have your textbook, the table of power series and elementary functions um, is on page 674. And if you don't have your textbook, all you have to do is Google whatever the power series is for that elementary function. So again, we're going to use our elementary functions to derive the Taylor series for f of x is equal to the natural log of 1 plus x cubed. And so when we say we're going to use that table or use that list of elementary functions, what I'm saying is just find the power series for the natural log of x. And again, you can use our table or you can just Google it. The natural log of x has a power series of x minus 1 minus x minus 1 squared over 2 plus x minus 1 cubed over 3 minus x minus 1 to the fourth over 4 and so on. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to replace x with 1 plus x cubed. That's easy enough. So the natural log of 1 plus x cubed requires me to take exactly what I have above and every time I see an x replace it with 1 plus x cubed instead. So that would be 1 plus x cubed minus 1 minus 1 plus x cubed minus 1 squared over 2, sorry I don't need that parenthesis, plus 1 plus x cubed minus 1 to the third over 3 minus 1 plus x cubed minus 1 to the fourth over 4 and so on. And then simplify. So I can simplify this 1 and negative 1 cancel out, and that gives me x cubed. And this 1 and negative 1 cancel out, and so that gives me x cubed squared, which is x to the 6th over 2. And then I would get positive 1 and negative 1 cancel out, x cubed to the 3rd, which is x to the 9th over 3 and then the ones cancel out and that gives me x cubed to the fourth or minus x to the twelfth over four. And then again it's just a matter of coming up with what is my series? How could I write this? This is for n is zero, this is for n is one, this is for n is two, this is for n is three. So I want to write that the natural log of 1 plus x cubed is equal to some summation as n goes from 0 to infinity of what? And again, that's the puzzle part of this. I just need to come up with it. Well, the first thing is this one's positive, this one's negative, this one's positive, this one's negative, so that gives me negative 1 to the n. Remember, the first one's positive, so it's negative 1 to the n. Now let's look at the x values. Well, if n is 0, x is 3. If n is 1, x is 6. And so these are all multiples of 3. So I'm going to take x to the 3, but I can't take it to the 3n because 3 times 0 would give me 0. So I need to take it to the 3n plus 1. I have to increase n by 1. The only thing left is now to look at the denominator. This one's over 1, this one's over 2, this one's over 3, this one's over 4. So again, I can just write the denominator as n plus 1. Now I could also write this because obviously I've increased n by 1 here and increased n by 1 here. So another equivalent way to write this is I could have said this is equal to the summation as n goes from 1 to infinity and then all of my powers of n would just decrease by 1. So this would be n minus 1, this would be uh, x to the 3n, not 3, x to the 3n, and then over n. Those are the same answer and they're both just fine. 
Um, I tend to like to start the series at zero, so this is the way that I would write the solution. Let's do one more example, this time using two times sine of x cubed. So again, I'm going to start with what is sine x? What is that power series? Sine x is x and then minus x cubed over three factorial plus x to the fifth over five factorial minus x to the seventh over seven factorial and so on. Changing it, I'm going to have two sine of x cubed, which means I'm going to have two on the outside and then x cubed means every time I see an x, I replace it with x cubed. So this is x cubed and then x cubed to the third would be x to the ninth over three factorial and x cubed to the fifth would be x to the 15th over five factorial and x cubed to the seventh would be x to the 21st over seven factorial and so on. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these in parts because I need to write to sine of x cubed as two, I'm gonna keep this two on the outside, times the summation as n goes from zero to infinity of something that's going to be a fraction. So let's just look at this piece by piece. The first piece, of course, I looked at is the two, and I've taken care of that. The next piece I would look at is the alternating series. This is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus. So I can rewrite that as negative one to the nth power. Now let's take a look at the denominator. So my denominator is, this is really one factorial, three factorial, five factorial, seven factorial. So one factorial, three factorial, five factorial, seven factorial for where n is equal to zero, to one, to two, to three, and so on. Well, those are odd numbers, one, three, five, seven. And typically when we represent an odd number, we say that an odd number can be represented by 2n plus 1. So let's see if that would work. When n is 0, 2 times 0 plus 1 would be 1, and that's 1 factorial. When n is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3 factorial, and so this is going to work. So that means my denominator is going to be 2n plus 1 factorial. And that leaves us with just one thing, and that is x to the third, x to the ninth, x to the 15th, x to the 21st. So again, I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. Looking at the um, exponents, I've got three, nine, 15, 21. And so this looks like the exponents are three times one, three times three, three times five, three times seven. So what can I do there? Well, I can say that this is x to the third, and then it's all odd numbers, just like I did before, 2n plus one. Now, will that work? Because when x, or when n is zero, I would get two times zero plus one, that would be x to the third to the first, which is x to the third. And then if n were one, I would get two times one plus one, which is three. So x cubed to the third, which is nine. So we're done. This guy is x cubed to the two n plus one. Up next, we're going to take a look at an introduction to conic sections.